Hi, my name is JP McMahon. I'm the culinary director of Eat Galway, and I'm here today uh, out in Athen Rye at Ronan Burns Farm. Uh, Ronan is the friendly farmer. Ronan produces chickens uh, all year round, but coming up to Christmas, uh, Ronan produces uh, turkeys and geese. And we're here today to pick up a turkey to bring it back to the restaurant and show you guys how to cook it. So, uh, Ronan, nice to meet you. JP, how's things? You're to see me. Yeah. Absolutely, back on the farm. So, Ronan, are you going to tell me why uh, why these uh, some of these turkeys are, are the best going this, this year? Well, firstly, they're not for France turkeys. So that means it's like the they're the breed we select. They're like the Angus of turkeys. Right? There's way more marbling. Than the that means when you're cooking the bird, that the marbling goes through the lean meat and has loads of those extra flavors. Um, they're also all out over there. Um, yeah, we, can, we can see, we yeah, can see them all here. Yeah, they're all there in the background. Um, we have our own abattoir on farm, so we only travel more or less about 20 or 30 years from where they're rare to where we saw them. And you see that later on. Um, we do about 800 every year and we sell them all locally and we sell them all our food locally. But it basically boils down to the chunks of the taste and the quality of the meat. And that comes the way we rear them, the breeds we select, and uh, basically the way we grow them. And are, you, are, you, are your guys much more expensive than a... Uh, they, they'd be a, a, a bit more expensive, they'd be a bit more expensive, but at Christmas, it's once a year, it's once a year gig as they say, it's a once a year meal, yeah. so people like to call it an extra for uh, well, I, I think they um, they definitely notice the... Uh, oh yeah, you know what I'm it's like it's like comparing yin and yang. It's yeah, two yeah, totally yeah. different products. Absolutely, and I think um, even even looking around, the amount of space that's given over for the bird to roam. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I think uh, it, uh, it can only produce a, a really good quality. Well, the happier the bird is, the better it tastes. So it makes sense for me as a farmer to make them as happy as possible because if they taste better, the customers keep coming back. Sweet. So do you want to go pick a pick we'll a pick turkey? A bird. Sweet. <laughs> Here we are in the abattoir. We have our, um, our fine bronze turkey, and uh, this is Roland's own abattoir, uh, which he built a while ago. Do you want to tell us a bit about it? We built it last, for last Christmas. So this is our second Christmas. Um, use it. We use it all year for our chickens. Um, how many chickens do you do? We do about 200 a week on average. Yeah. Yeah. So just, that, that's actually quite a small amount of chickens. Oh, it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be yeah. Re relatively, very, very small amount of chickens. Considering the chickens, yeah. yeah. But they're also locally, so yeah. Absolutely. Know, it's, it's big in a, big in a small big in, way. Big in a local way. So here's our guy here. We're going to, um, we're going to dispatch him. So uh, if you don't like to see uh, turkeys being dispatched, I'd look away now. So we're going to humanely dispatch this uh, beautiful bronze turkey out. So we use these, um, Holes. What they do is they keep the bird nice and comfortable, so the bird is nice and relaxed. And now we take our time, nice and slowly, and we use um, electric stone. And what this stone does is it render the bird asleep, and then the bird will feel after that. So the minute this goes on the bird's head here, the bird will just tense up and that means he's asleep. And after that, he feels nothing. So this is the dry cooking of the bird. Okay, this is the old traditional way of doing it. We do two processes, we dry cook and we wet cook. Dry cooking is, um, is the older way and the slower way. And for this part today we want to dry cook. So first of all I'm going to remove the wing feathers, both sides. Then I'm going to remove the tail feathers. And then we work on the smaller feathers. These are its flight feathers. And these, are, these are the hardest to remove. You just take these, take these out first. Because the, uh, the extremities get cold of course. So it's more of a ripping action than a pulling action. You're ripping the feathers out of Third stage now, we have uh, stunned the bird, we have bled the bird, and we have cooked the bird, and now it's time to prep the bird for the oven. Um, so we'll be removing the feet, uh, we'll be removing the wing tips, we'll be removing the head, we'll be tidying up the neck area, we'll be removing the neck, and we'll be cleaning the bird out. Uh, legs off, so a little slit above the knee, pull, cut. 
We'll remove the wing tips now. Eviscerated bird, so as you can see, she's uh, she's oven ready. So we've got a little bit of tying up on her, and we've got a little bit of rubbing down. And there she is. Uh, we'll stick it in a, stick it in a plastic bag and JP to bring it off and uh, get ready to uh, cook it. Now, JP, we picked the bird off, yeah, we have uh, prepped it, got it all ready, and it's ready to rock and roll. I'm just going to bag it up for you to make it nice and handy for Great. carrying. I'm going to stick an old date label on it. And we've got the, we the, the heart and the liver and yeah. the neck in there. Yeah, all in, ready to rock and roll. Stick an old friendly farmer date label on it. You can bring her off. And away you go. Well, listen, thank you very much, Ron. And uh, hopefully uh, he'll, uh, he'll, taste, uh, he'll taste good. And roll on Christmas Day. Absolutely. Well, to, uh, to Cabin now to uh, prepare this um, turkey in a, in a Spanish way. Uh, turkey. The Spanish wouldn't eat uh, particularly turkey on Christmas Day, but they eat turkey a lot on uh, Christmas Eve and also on what they what we call Little Christmas on the 6th of January. So we're going to do a nice um, recipe with manzanilla sherry and pine nuts and dried fruits.